Okay, welcome back to the path here. All right, the after after we um, have developed a little better understanding of those swing mechanics, we then are going to shift into the physical dimension of uh, working on and developing our golf swings and our putting strokes and our short game skills relative to chipping and pitching, sand play. This is where we physically begin to swing the club in such a manner that our bodies are supporting that action. So as we, as we think about and talk about the physical dimension, obviously it's going to be a good idea to pursue some improved fitness. It's going to be a good idea to do some things relative to our health and our bodies and our, uh, getting our muscles and, and uh, our physical condition in, in better shape, obviously. So we do want to encourage everyone to give some good consideration. You might be on a good program right now, you, or you, you might uh, begin to entertain the fact of doing some things at home, uh, working into your schedule. A little bit of a little bit of fitness-related stuff for your your strength, flexibility, and endurance. But in terms of the golf swing, this is where we really begin to do some exploring relative to building a swing that is unique to us based on our own physical shapes and sizes and our athletic attributes. So in terms of the body and how this how the swing works, there's going to be rhythm and timing involved in the golf swing. And the rhythm and timing in the swing is, is really what determines the, uh, the quality of any given golf shot. <clears throat> there are times when, when a mechanically unsound swing can produce a pretty good golf shot almost a happy accident. <clears throat> there are times when a mechanically very sound golf swing can produce a poor result. That's because the rhythm and the timing of that particular swing might have been off. So as you think about your, your rhythm and timing in terms of the swing, what we're focusing on here are going to be developing a better understanding of <clears throat> the rhythm of the swing. The rhythm of the swing just is simply the to and fro, back and forth motion of our golf swing. And what I'm doing here is, is basically a rhythm drill. I'm continuously feeling the club move back, and as I move the club back, I can feel a little turning in my body, I can feel a little weight load into my right hip. <clears throat> then as I swing the club through and past my body and release the club, I can feel my weight shifting over to the, to the uh, left side or pivoting over to the left side. And we want to do that in a musically rhythmical motion. So that's what your swing rhythm will be about. The timing of the swing has to do with when different parts of our body are actually engaging. When it's a sequencing of movement through the body, both on the backswing and the downswing. And these movements and sensations will tend to vary a little bit from one one uh, individual to the next, again, based on their own personal athletic style of swinging the golf club. So again, your timing is going to have to do with understanding that, and we talk a little more about the different parts or components of, uh, of your body relative to swinging the club, with the uh, upper swing component being your shoulders, arms, wrists, hands, and what the uh, upper swing component will be doing in the golf swing for us. We talk a little bit more about the middle swing component, which is essentially your torso. And your torso would contain your spine. And relative to a good physical swing action, we want to begin to work on and find a good athletic setup position so that the spine is straight. And uh, as we <clears throat> begin to make our swings, the torso will stay in place and will rotate essentially around that fixed axis, your spine. That's an athletic movement. It requires some good rhythm, requires some good timing. And we also talk a little bit about the lower swing component, and that would be your hips, legs, and feet down there, which really support the whole upper two components, torso and, and your shoulders and arms. So there are some specific actions relative to the lower body that are going to have to do with uh, sequencing your movements through the golf swing. Some of these things that we would work on during the physical development of our swings will be the setup, how wide our stance needs to be, even the position that we have our feet in will affect our ability to sequence and flow through the golf swing. <clears throat> so again, you have a lower swing component, you have a middle swing component, and we have an upper swing component. 
each one of those areas has specific roles relative to developing a good uh, productive uh, golf swing. So again, we'll go into a little more detail, uh, both in the drills and um, tips and ideas section of the site, as well as uh, the next two uh, areas relative to rhythm and relative to timing. Okay, talk with you again.